Hello and welcome back to Open Avels for the Burgundian Conquest. I believe last time we gained some land. We actually gained, uh, was it Tlievs up here? And we also uh, took some land from Lorraine. So everything's looking nice for Burgundy. We're becoming a much bigger figure. We also have quite a lot of land overseas and some right in Great Britain, which is fantastic. So we have a subject of high liberty, Desire. We're France. Hmm. So, how do we get rid of this? We need to get better diplomatic technology than France, that would give us an extra 20%. And become stronger, that would give us an extra 29%. So, let's have a look at France. What is your diplomatic tech, France? 17. Ours is 13. So actually, every level puts us closer to getting it. Also, France has better tech in all Trade steering and caravan power and merchant is alright. I think we need to put the points in our Diplo tank right now. And that will that'll be what we'll do. We lost Caspelian Spain, Sweden. Austria no longer considers us a rival. But we can still consider them a rival, right? Uh, we could eventually get... Um, ooh, trust is really looked super low. We could potentially get them to uh, be friends with us soon. Oh yeah, of course, we also have um, the Frozen Empire, which is very, very interesting, because it means that uh, well, basically Austria is no longer the Emperor. And the Palatinate is the Emperor, and the Palatinate is significantly weaker than Austria were. In fact, where are the Palatinate? I just want to find them here. Here's the Palatinate, this is them, this is their full power. So basically, what it means is that if we were to, say, attack Liège, we would get Riga, Munster, the Platinet, anyway, Saxony and Wurzburg in, but they're so weak, it's not even going to matter. Like, we're going to have Saxony, Munster and Riga in that war, if we were to go to war with them. It's not a tough uh, war. Now, what's our force limit? Our force limit's 44. Hmm. I don't know. The thing about France attacking us, right, is that they're actually not that much stronger than us, but they have someone... Uh, I think they have someone supporting their independence still. No, they actually have nobody supporting their independence right now. But they're not that much stronger than... Like, they're, they're weaker than us. So we could win. But, anyway, that's fine. I'll put points into diplomatic reputation so that they'll be nicer to us. They're only stronger if one of our other vassals decides to join in with them, basically. Military tech? Um... Oh, do we want to pay the extra for it, or just improve development? We could improve development in a province or two. There we go. Just buff it up a little bit. It's uh, it's a better use of our points, if we're not going to war this very second. And the bonuses aren't that amazing. What are the bonuses, anyway, actually? I said they were not that amazing without even looking at them. Supply limit cavalry shock. Yeah, as I said, not that amazing, given we only have infantry. We should probably build some cannons at some point. They're, I have heard they're pretty useful, but... You know, it could just be uh, good marketing. The cannon marketing board. Anyway, what else have we got? We are supporting the air in Commonwealth and we're improving relations with Lubeck. Is that like our mission or something? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, okay. How, how do they feel about us? Oh, they, they don't feel that good about us because we have uh, unlawful territory. But they will like us eventually. Uh, anyone else we want to improve relations with? Probably none of those. How about one of these guys, like New Burgundy or Canada? Yeah, let's improve relations with New Burgundy a little bit. Just make sure that they're uh, gonna stay friendly. That's fine. Cool. Let things move on. We're about to finish uh, Philadelphia. I think that's what that's meant to be. Yeah, it doesn't show you the uh, non-translated name. Well, non-localized name. Okay, this is all fine. We can just sit back. Gallery no longer has a claim on a presence. Oh, we no longer have a claim on Gallery. Uh, we should repay that loan and then we'll extend the rest of them. It's unfortunate that we have to extend our loans, but we're making serious bank now and we should be able to pay them back soon. Okay, our leader is dead. Uh, we are now part of the... Our king is now part of the Detrastamar dynasty. Was it always part of that dynasty? That's the same as Spain, right? Uh, Spain is also Detrastamar, yeah. Cool. 
Uh, we're going to accept that royal marriage offer. We're going to accept this royal marriage offer. Who do we not have a royal marriage with? Brandenburg and France. Both Brandenburg and France. So stop this. Go get our royal marriages. Blasphemy Act. Um, don't need to take that just yet. Because we're not trying to convert anything. Although we will take it once Kliev's is actually like cord, I think is what we're waiting for. Uh, France doesn't want a royal marriage, I don't suppose. No. Okay. Brandenburg. We need that royal marriage with you. 59 days. Oh, it's going to be forever. We'll maintain our diplomat in Lubeck. We'll get it eventually. Looming disaster. Internal conflicts. How do we stop it? It uh, gets stability. Currently in disaster. Unrest lower than zero. Um, our unrest is higher than zero. Why? Because of war exhaustion. We'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Oh yeah, we'll accept that royal marriage offer. Perfect. Yeah, we're not going to get a disaster. That's fine. Want a battle? Uh, we have some heretics in France's land, which is fine. We'll let France deal with them because France uh, will then have less men than us. And then we can get a royal marriage. Cool. We took over this land, which is actually Delaware normally. Okay, cool. Uh, let's uh, go over to this province then. Well, let's keep moving along the coast. We'll get all of it. Great Britain had the first circumnavigation of the globe. Cool. Cool. Uh, we can't quite see it all yet, but we can see most of the world. It's, we can see what matters. I see, is that the route they took round? That might be the route they took round. Okay. Cool. That's fine. Let things continue. We won another battle. Good. Good. Uh, yeah, everything seems fine there. We should go back to improving relations with new uh, Burgundy, who are actually colonizing themselves, which is fantastic. They're getting even stronger by themselves. Like, we're getting a super ally there. Oh, and it looks like um, Canada are at war for some land. Cool. That's nice. That's pretty good. So they're both kind of expanding in their own ways, which is great, because uh, if we get most of North America, that's a really, really good ally. And it's an ally who has to come in and pay us money. How much money are we making from them anyway? We're making almost a ducat from New Burgundy. That's not bad. Uh, we can get a new tech. Is that Diplotech? Yeah, we should get Diplotech. Now France actually just dropped underneath the uh, little thing there, which means that we get that royal marriage with them. Let's bring the person back from Lubeck temporarily. Get that royal marriage going. They don't want a royal marriage because they're disloyal, but they will want it at the end of the month. I think. At the end of the month, they'll want it. Oh, they're disloyal again. Damn it, they went up to 50%. Maybe they'll become loyal once this army dies? We'll see. We'll see. Just waiting for France to go and uh, get their army beaten up. We should put them below the loyalty. There we go. They're below it went to August 1st. We now get the royal marriage. Cool. We did it. We got France underneath. And that means they will not jump back to where they were. Right, Lubeck, you are up here somewhere. Yeah, we'll improve relations with you. We, we could have them as an ally, potentially. They could be, instead of Brandenburg, Lubeck could be an ally. Who are they rival to? They're allied with Brandenburg, Bremen, Cologne, and Utrecht. And they're rival to... Livonian Order, Switzerland, and Tuscany. I say it wouldn't be that bad of an ally. Lose a diplo point a month to have them as an ally? I'll take it. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'll take it. Ooh, we'll definitely take the diplomatic reputation there. Yeah, I want this uh, one over there. Ooh, a new colony. Let's send the next one over to Connie. And we'll send this one over. So we get the entire coast. Perfect. And it also give them lots of boats so they get us more trade power. Uh, yes, I would like to be your ally, Lubeck. I think you're a strong person to have, even though you're within the Empire. Um, Conquer Liege? I think that's something we could do. 
definitely. Yeah. I'm actually gonna take it, because I think Liege is uh, someone we can take out. Winster, Platinet, Saxony, and Warsburg. Yeah, that's fine. Munster, so everybody would join in. Munster, Saxony, Platinet, and Warsburg. So how strong are they? Military. So we would have... Munster. 10,000 troops. The Platinet. Oh, we have Saxony was also in there, so it's 16,000. So the Platinet, yeah, uh, that's 23,000. Liege themselves, which is uh, 33,000, and then Riga is the other one. Riga is 40,000 troops. Is that all of them? Uh, Wurzburg? I didn't add Wurzburg. Wurzburg puts them up to 44,000. Can we get anybody in this war? That's the important thing, actually. Nobody would join in. How about you, Lubeck, for a month of stuff? Nope. Portugal. Brandenburg. Commonwealth. Sweden. Sweden would join in, actually. They take favors. I think with Sweden, we've got this. This is easy. Uh, how many favors does it cost? 10 favors? Yeah, it costs us 10 favors. And Sweden. Um, We have 44 favors. Yeah. This seems, this seems reasonable. I want to attack Liege. Sweden, you're going to come with us. Yes, I would like to call them in. Uh, that seems fine. Everybody is in. We also have France in our war. We'll merge up in Breda. And then we can go and attack Liege's army. Yep, everybody joined. Everybody joined from all sides. That's fine. Yeah, we'll just walk straight down there. We'll just go straight in and kill their army. Fairly simple. That's uh, step one of any good plan. Uh, right. Uh, head down here. We're actually just going to cha chase Lee. Oh, we can't chase any further? I guess we'll go and join this battle then. Just to win that for uh, our side. Cool. Anybody else we want to, uh, like, attack first? Maybe the Platinet we can attack first? They are sitting right there. Yeah, we'll go and siege the Platinet. That's fine. They'll probably be the quickest one we can get out, and we can maybe get something from them. Oh, we can start to convert this province. So what we should do is we should change our tolerance thing. There it is. I mean, that means we can finish this in 14 months. Cool. How's our uh, unrest looking? It's not under zero yet, so we actually still have internal conflicts kind of going up. Although if religious unity went to 100%, that will actually get rid of that. Okay. Or if we boost our stability again, that might get rid of it. Um, yeah, boosting stability again would actually get rid of it. I'm going to boost it again. Oh, it doesn't quite get rid of it, but it will soon. Austria's peace. Uh, Brandenburg will cede. Newmark to Commonwealth will cede. Uh, Wittenberg, Sassian, and Le Leipzig to Saxony. Oh, Saxony are now bigger. And uh, Brandenburg will give, of course, Uberslots and uh, Konigratz to Bohemia. And they will release Magdeburg and Anhalt as sovereign states. They will null all treaties with Burgundy. Brandenburg will pay ducats to Austria. Aha. Uh -huh. Does that mean that we, uh, well, we still have the wrong marriage, but, yeah, not much else. Are they a trade company, or can we get royal marriage to these guys? Uh, they lack a monarchy, yeah, so they're like a republic person. That's fine. We will get our military alliances with Lorraine. But we can also call other people in if we wanted to. We could call the Commonwealth in. Is that it? Yeah. I don't know if we need the Commonwealth in this war. I mean, we have Saxony in it, who could be fun to hurt more. I think Sweden by themselves might be alright. We gain discipline. Austria have announced us as their new rival, unsurprisingly. 
I'm just going to keep sieging this province, I think. It should be fine. It's going to take an awfully long time, but whatever. Oh, can we pay back a loan? Yeah, we can pay back a loan. There we go. We're now making almost 20 ducats a month. It's really, really good. How many ducats are we making from these? Like, we're making two ducats from France every month as well, which is quite nice. Uh, we're also making a lot of money from our trade. It's just going up and up and up as we get more things along the coast. We get more trade power being pushed in. Okay. Uh, the Flower Wars is the Cassis Belly. Hmm, interesting. How you doing, Sweden? You alright? You seem to be fine. Um, do we gain two mercantilism for legitimacy or... Trader leaves our court. We'll take the trader leaves our court. And then we'll get someone new in. Uh, we have no more traders. High offense is so bad. Global tariffs plus 10% could be nice though. That's another 10% from these two. Mm. Mm. I don't know about that. Yeah. We might just fire this guy. Get a new one seems reasonable. Maybe we get another trader. I didn't want to use, lose more legitimacy because that would put us down like quite far down. We get military tech. Yeah, we'll grab it. We're in a war. Seems sensible. At very least it gives us more supply limit. Uh, are we losing this war? We're kind of losing this war. I'm going to call in uh, the Commonwealth. Um, they will not take territory. They will take favors. Cool. Commonwealth are in the war. We now have uh, 38,000 troops who are about to join in, right? Commonwealth said yes. Yes, they said yes. I don't know why the troops aren't blue. Uh, maybe we'll do that. Nope, they're still not blue. More people are rising up in France, like rebels. That's cool. I just wanted to add the Commonwealth because they give us a little bit of uh, oomph to our, to our armies, which we're missing. Unfortunately, this is a perfect opportunity for Spain to attack us, but if Spain attack us, we're pretty much uh, screwed anyway. Uh, we might want to try getting the Platinet as our vassal, I say. Maybe... Hmm, I don't know if we want to go around vassalizing all the electors to get ourselves in charge of the Holy Roman Empire. That would be a good idea. It could be a good idea, but... I don't know, it would mean people in the Holy Roman Empire don't like us, and it would mean that we'd have more liberty desire from the individual vassals. Uh, we'll gain points. That's fine. There we go. There's the uh, 64,000 stack that's working its way around. Brandenburg Royal Marriage ended, which is fantastic, actually, because that now means that we're not... We don't have a bad Royal Marriage just sitting around. Right, uh, we have lost the Siege of Limburg. That's not good. Oh, of course, the 64,000 had to go and kill the vassals. Uh, like, rebels. That's, that's... Of course. They're gonna be so silly. Oh, and then their army got killed over there. That's cool. That's great. Uh, my AI, why are my AI allies the worst AI allies in the world? It, this is really, really bad. Anyway. Yeah, they're just running in 10,000 at a time until all their armies are dead. But when they're in their own wars, they're all really good. This doesn't make any sense. Ah, uh, well. Hopefully we have the numbers to just out, you know, sustain them. Uh, yeah, you can have military access. Yeah, you can have military access. I don't really care. Did we get a new person here? Oh, we got trade efficiency. Yeah. Mm, we'll take the dipple point hit. That's fine. End of the Peasants' War somewhere. Do we want to get the next level of Diplotech when it comes up? I get the feeling we might want to, because it gives us a global settler increase as well. As making, you know, France like us more and... Or other vassals like us, or other uh, subjects like us more. Seems like a good idea. Siege of Namur is over. Yeah, they got a lot of sieges on us. Come on, armies. You can work out where to go next, I'm sure. 
Hmm. Still deciding what to do with the Platinate. I do think making them our vassal is not the worst idea I've ever had. We call our diplomat there. Well, the siege has taken a very long time. Should tick over any second now, though. Uh, that wasn't it. That's uh, New Burgundy taking some more land. It's growing. It's growing quickly. Riga would like to peace out. We're going to decline so we can have a look at what we can get from Riga. So Riga are up here and they have one province and it has been sieged. Okay. That's fine. That much worse score. We have 99% against Riga. So we could take Riga ourselves. That's a really bad idea, but we could do it. Let's make them our vassal. Of course, our religion upon them gives us five prestige. We'll take the war reparations, if nothing else. I guess we'll take war reparations, force religion. And then... Get them to break their alliances with Munster and Wurzburg. And give us your money. Yeah. Okay. That was a good peace deal for us. It got us a lot of prestige and gave us enough money to pay off another loan. Cool, we've only got one loan left. Right. Oh my god, look at those rebels in uh, Commonwealth. That is not good for them at all. Wow. Uh, we lost the siege of Baru. Um, let's uh, see if we can win one of these. We're almost finished the siege in this province. Uh, but I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.